Uh, next, we will talk about the bulk heterojunction OPV device structure. This device structure is more important because it is what is widely used in industry to fabricate photovoltaic device for real applications. The bilayer structure is more suitable for research and development only. So we will uh, explain uh, more about the bulk heterojunction uh, OPV. <coughs> so as you can see on the uh, on this uh, slide, there is just uh, one layer, the red layer, between the transparent conducting oxide and the uh, metal uh, electrode at the top. However, inside this uh, red uh, layer, there are actually the it's actually as a mixture of the two components, the donor and the acceptor. And this is because this bulk heterojunction OPV structure is more suited for solution processed polymers. In other words, we can dissolve the polymer donor material and we can dissolve the acceptor material as solutions. And then we mix the two solutions together and we can deposit the mixed solution in one step as the active layer. We can use spin coating method or we can use a printing method and you can do this over a much larger area than possible with the uh, bilayer device structure. So because of this, the active layer, the absorber layer in this structure is actually what's called a nano composite. And we have an experimental uh, image of this kind of bulk heterojunction uh, on the top left. This is what is called an atomic force microscope, AFM image. And the two components are P3HT and PCVM. The difference in contrast in this image is due to the interpenetrating network of the P3HT donor and the PCVM acceptor and the PV effect is taking place at the interface between the two uh, components. So one thing which is important to point out is that only those excitons which are within a short distance from the interface can be converted into electrons and holes and that is why we need to have this interpenetrating network. 